I want to do a video on self-pity and, and, and to me this is the biggest roadblock to implementing any kind of real change in your life. And I think we're all prone to self-pity from time to time, um, especially this kind of critical thinking in terms of, you know, you tell yourself, why has this happened to me? Why is it always me? What did I do to deserve this? Other people don't deal with this. I have to deal with it. And it's, it's very unhelpful thinking. It really doesn't change your situation. And it really blocks people's ability to hone in on objectively on what the problem is and what the solution is. Um, and I see this in all different facets of life. I have clients come in who maybe have health problems and they say, you know, I'm eating well, but I'm not losing way and i'm kind of well write down what you're eating and and write down your your exercise and your general whole lifestyle you're from day to day put down every detail of your life and people start to look a little bit more objectively about about their eating habits they realize they're actually in taking in more carbs or, or calories than their than their uh, energy expenditure maybe they're not exercising as much as they should maybe they think that they're eating well but really they're not um, and then you have to hone in well what do you do how do you address this diet to actually get the, your needs met and, and start to implement the change that you really want to see um, I find it's particularly difficult in relationships, especially if somebody is single and they seem to be going through these repeating cycles of, of, of having many relationships, very short term, maybe two or three dates, maybe two or three months, and then it seems to end. And again, every time it ends, they go through this cycle of why me and why can't I meet the right guy and, and, and it's not fair and blah, blah, blah. And I really try and get them to, you know, it's shining a light back on themselves and ask them, are, are you the problem? Um, is it your expectations of this person the problem? Are you projecting all relationships? And I did a video before about transference and projecting old emotions and old situations onto the present relationship. Um, and again, people, I find, especially with relationships, people refuse to look at themselves and often they're avoiding addressing their issues. It's easier to blame other people than have to look at yourself. But at the end of the day, you're going to stay single until you really are honest enough with yourself and address what your problems are in any relationship. Um, same with career. I see people who are like, you know, I never get a break on work. I never get a pay rise. I never get any kind of promotions. But so, well, what are you doing to actually create that situation? What can you do now to get that pay rise? Do you just ask for it? Do you ask and you take on more work? Is there something, is there is there a way you could be working more efficiently to actually aim you towards that goal? Um, and again, it's just staying out of that critical mindset and, and sticking to two aspects. What's the problem and what's the solution? And and solution focus, that, that solution focus mindset, it does take a huge amount of discipline because we are predisposed to negative thinking i spoke about this loads of times it's a cognitive bias and the thing about negative thinking and it's delicious you know it tastes nice it's like chocolate sometimes we get a dopamine hit off it um and at the time it feels good but in the long term it's particularly bad and it, and socially it's it's it, you know it, it can be delicious in the sense that you know if i'm having a bad day and i go up and tell somebody oh that's awful and that's terrible and god love you and they start feeding into the cycle of of, of negativity and i feel good because i've been listened and validated but my problem hasn't changed and i'm exactly where i was before so we have to learn to hate negativity and stop feeding it um but again it's all about sticking to the facts um to every situation in life and i mean even for me now i've had back problems for years and um and again i would have been prone to that negative cycle of again why me and this is not fair and all my friends they don't have back problems i have back problems what's going on and and now you know my time frame back is not so bad but it does flare up so i have to can all that type of thinking it's no use it's not good for me and focus on specifically what is the root of the problem what was i doing and the lead up to the back problem and then you know like everything things pass you know any kind of emotional pain it does pass physical pain pass as well so i have to ask myself well, what did i do in the past that helped that pain pass quicker maybe it was physio maybe it was rest maybe it's uh, have an epsom salt bath the heat helps whatever it is but just constantly trying to find the solution and not feeling sorry for myself because it really doesn't help and even when I work with my clients, you know, I have the greatest empathy for them. And, I, you know, I, I, I do know, I understand that people are really struggling with, with life and it can be very disheartening if you're trying your best. But I also don't feel sorry for them or I don't pity them because I understand that that's only feeding their own self-pity and it keeps them stuck. Our job is to stay completely solution focused. What's the solution to this problem? And that may present a second problem, but what's the solution to that problem? And you keep going and it's a cycle and, and the cycle that we have to keep working on. And believe it or not, it gets easier. Um, you know, sometimes, 
again one of the problems is lazy thinking as well people refuse to really think through all their problems or sometimes it's an inability to self-reflect and I, i've seen that sometimes with clients they've now experienced really reflecting on themselves and their behaviors and their attitudes towards their problems and a part of our job is really um raising that awareness and letting people notice that you can have you noticed that before about yourself and this and this and they may take this on board and start to observe themselves a little bit more on their own actions their behaviors and how they react to situations but to me the biggest thing again is to not awfulize you know we all hit roadblocks it's not the end of the world you know if you have your reasonably healthy if you if you if reasonably good people in your life and you have your relationship there then you know things will work itself out and you will find a solution to your problem but people do have a tendency to completely over dramatize problems and again it's it's no use it's not helpful and if anything it's probably just creating more stress in a situation that, that it doesn't need um you have to be realistic and, and don't generalize stick to the facts and be as specific as possible and hone in only on the facts of any situation and even if it's relationship problems like everyone that i've met who was having a relationship problem they've had good relationships in the past so i need to get bring them back to that time when when they met that person what were you like what were your needs then what was your attitude like did your attitude change over the course of that relationship and that's why it's ended how can you adjust your attitude now but it's all coming back home and i say this in all my videos everything comes back to you if anything is bothering you any person or any situation it comes back to you you're the, you're the problem and you're the solution to your problem you just have to reflect on yourself much more so i'm gonna head off guys have a great week talk to you soon bye bye